Hello everyone, myself Apurva Roy and I am here to speak on the topic Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. A clean India would be the best tribute India could pay to Mahatma Gandhi on his 150th birth anniversary in 2019. These were the lines said by Sri Narendra Modi as he launched the Swachh Bharat mission at Rajpath in New Delhi. On 2nd October 2014, Swachh Bharat mission was launched throughout the length and breadth of the country as a national movement. The aim of the campaign was to achieve a vision of clean India by 2nd October 2019. The Swachh Bharat mission is the most significant cleanliness campaign by the government of India. Sri Narendra Modi led a cleanliness pledge at India Gate which about 30 lakh government employees across the country joined. He also flagged off a walkathon at Rajpath and surprised people by joining in not just a few token steps, but marching with the participants a long way. So now I would like to mention what Sri Narendra Modi did as he started the campaign. By leading the march movement for cleanliness, the Prime Minister exhorted people to fulfill Mahatma Gandhi's dream of clean and hygienic India. Sri Narendra Modi himself initiated the cleanliness drive at Mandir Mal Police Station, picking up the dream to clean the dirt, making Swachh Bharat Abhiyan a mass movement across the nation. The Prime Minister said people should neither little nor let other little. He gave the mantra of Nagadri Karenge, Na Karne Denge. Sri Narendra Modi also invited nine people to join the cleanliness drive and requested each of them to draw nine more into the initiative. By inviting people to participate in the drive, the Swachhita Abhyam has turned into a national movement. So, basically, what were the objectives of the Swachh Bharat mission? The various objectives are improving the quality of life in rural areas through cleanliness and personal hygiene. Second, to make India free of open defecation within five years till 2nd October 2019, to construct 90 million toilets in rural areas at an estimated cost of Rs 1.96 lakh crores, to encourage public sectors for making capital expenditure in the project or into the operational and maintenance cost. The next objective was to convert unsanitary toilets into the toilets with flush. Then create awareness among communities towards sanitation and cleanliness. To bring about behavior changes in the people towards sanitation and hygiene. Other objective was motivating the communities for adopting a proper sanitation model for better, better health and life to tell people how sanitation is linked with the overall health and happiness, to encourage and acknowledge new technological innovation in the field of sanitation and cleanliness, then to devise a proper door-to-door -door waste collection and disposal system both in villages as well as the urban areas, to make necessary changes in local bodies in order to strengthen their functions and efficiency, to construct separate toilets for boys and girls in all the schools throughout the country, then to provide clean drinking water in all the schools and also ensure avail availability of toiletries like various soaps and hand wash, then to provide proper toilets at all Anganwadis in the country. Now the question arises that why India needed Swachh Bharat Abhiyan? Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is a much needed initiative by India as poor state of cleanliness in the country could be directly linked to the high infant mortality and degrading health conditions. Poor hygiene and cleanliness has been causing maximum number of infants death in the country. Moreover, there is a direct link between poor sanitation and diseases like diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, etc. As on 2014, most, almost 60% of the population of India was defecating in open, resulting in several life-threatening diseases like cholera, etc. So, by inviting people to participate in the drive, the Swachhita Abhiyan has turned into a national movement. 
a sense of responsibility has been evoked among the people through the Clean India Movement. When citizens now becoming active participants of the cleanliness activities across the nation, the dream of a clean India was seen by Mahatma Gandhi has begun to get a shape finally. The Prime Minister has helped spread the message of Swachh Bharat by urging people through his words and actions. He carried out a cleanliness drive in Varanasi as well. He wielded a spade near River Ganga at a Sikhar in Varanasi under the Clean India Mission. He was joined by a large group of people who cooperated in the Swachhita Abhiyan. Understanding the significance of sanitation, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has simultaneously addressed the health problems that roughly half of the Indian families have to deal with due to lack of toilets in their homes. So, people from different sections of the society have come forward and joined the mass movement of cleanliness. From government officials to Jawans, Bollywood actors to sports person, industrialists and spiritual leaders all have lined up for this noble work. Millions of people across the country have been day after day joining the cleanliness initiatives of the government departments, NGO and global community centers to make India clean, organizing frequent cleanliness campaigns to spreading awareness about hygiene through play and music is also widely being carried out across the nation. So, our Prime Minister has praised the efforts by people and various departments and organizations for taking part in the Swachh Bharat mission and contributing towards a cleaner India. Sri Narendra Modi has always openly lauded the participation of people via social media. The hashtag MyCleanIndia was also launched as a part of the Swachh Bharat drive to highlight the cleanliness work carried out by the citizens across the nation. Swachh Bharat Abhiyan has become a Jan Andolan receiving tremendous support from the people. Citizens too have turned out in large, large number and pledged for a neat and cleaner India. Taking the group to sweep the streets, cleaning up the garbage, focusing on sanitation and maintaining a hygienic environment has become a practice after the launch of the Swachh Bharat mission. People have started to take part and helping spread the message of cleanliness is next to godliness. So, as the responsible citizens of India, it's our duty to make our efforts as much as we can to make this dream turn into reality. We need to take steps for a cleaner India and motivate people around us in whatever way we can. We need to spread awareness, carry out campaigns and encourage people to be a part of it and make their contribution, be it small or big. But we need to do this for our country and make India the best place. Thank you.